Yo, what up? It's your boy Black with Black TV, where we give you reviews and hip hop news. And today we are going to be talking about episode four of BMF Heroes. But first, don't forget to hit subscribe to Black TV for more reviews, more reactions. Hit that like button. And in the comment section below, tell me what you thought about this episode or tell me what you thought of think about bmf entirely is it a good show to you leave it in the comment section and let me know so without any further ado let's go ahead and uh talk about episode four uh heroes well of course in the last episode meet you, terry finally figured out how to re-up with pat how to uh sell drugs in the factory by buying a uh a lunch truck and they starting to get their drugs out we also find out that kato is a traitor like she's working with lamar like huh huh but this rolls over into this episode called heroes and it all starts out with of course a little small snippet of the real meech saying what happened around this time in the episode he says my brother and i were too determined and destined to be the best to ever play the cocaine game money became our addiction being able to buy whatever the fuck we wanted big meech and once again, this episode really shows exactly what he meant about them being money hungry. I ain't gonna say actually money hungry, but more uh, wanting to level up their situation. The episode starts out with Meech being in the store, trying to highlight these girls. Then these young girls really didn't want to give them no play. But he was like, look, let me buy y'all chips and drink or whatever. Then they were like, sure, sure. And, you know, he wanted them to go out the store and he had the money. Food stamps. Like, if you never, ever dealt with food stamps in your life, that's like the most embarrassing thing to do. And if like you trying to uh, holler at women or whatever, whatnot, it's just embarrassing. Then Pat came up and like, look, man, buy you something nice you know here's some money you know don't ever do that to yourself again and Mish thanks him and i guess that was a, a, a opening to trust pat but that's i see like every episode really starts them off with them being like real real young so the episode goes on they was running out of coke they had to go to pat they like, look, we got a re-up, but we want to go ahead and buy some more and go ahead and give you the money up front. We we got the money. Pat sitting there tripping. He like, look, I'm gonna give you what I, I'm gonna give you whatever I give you. Or are you gonna take it? And Mitch just was like, he really didn't understand him. Like, we got the money. Like, why you can't give us the coat? Mitch going the back with Pat side man rock. Rock was like, look, I know a person that can hook you up whenever you ready to play. Holla at me, holla at me. And that's what you gotta do if you're in like in a dope game like that. If you really wanna level up, you probably you gonna have to leave some people behind and do what you gotta do because this game don't really have no love for nobody. Then meanwhile, Terry and his little family, you know, they getting ready to uh baptize his son you know they got the mall getting stuff ready for church and his uh his uh baby mama brother is in the store trying like look i like these sneakers terry like yeah yeah they, they nice ain't it and they run into the 12th street boys lamar run up to him be like hey he counts money and throw it at his feet but let me tell you something that's like if you're if you're a guy that got money and another, that's like the most disrespectful thing you can do to another guy is throw some money on his feet. But you can throw money, you can, you can throw money in my feet. I, I, I ain't gonna feel a certain type of way. But Terry felt a certain type of way when Lamar did that. Then after that, Lamar and the Twist Street Boys figure out where they were selling drugs at the food truck. They sabotage the food truck, telling everybody they got a secret menu. Now, people that don't even do drugs is asking for a, a, a rock, a stone burger. They were asking for a stone burger. Now they can't even sell the drugs out the lunch truck. 
but it is a diversion to have the Twist Street Boys go to their secret stash. That's crazy. So Meech and Terry meet up with Rock. Rock like, look, I got a person. They work in the South. Meet them at this restaurant. They like, all right, cool. But Meech had uh, another, another plan and Terry had another plan. But, you know, they were like, Let, let's check them out. Let's check them out. Then Meech, like, Meech had like Meech has a whole baby mama that we didn't even know about. Like he goes to this girl house, like, and, like it ain't nothing. Like what? When was y'all gonna tell this in in the story? Like we four episodes in, man. He goes in there do his thing. You know they do the yeah yeah. She like look, you can't stay here. What you doing? Uh, you know you no, know, you know when you have a person there, you you have you make love to him. But you don't really want them to stay there. They they'll say this line like, "All right, what you about to do?" She hit him with that line, and Meech was looking so crazy. Cause you know Meech ain't got no home right now. Then meanwhile, the family is sitting here trying to sue the hospital for a Terry messed up eye. The father is just so frustrated. He's like, "Look, I don't trust her neither. I don't trust the lawyer neither," and like he's still mad about the whole ordeal about Meech paying the mortgage off look i'm gonna tell you something look man i know you sometimes you're gonna have to put that pride to the side when you so broke and things just ain't working out hey you just gonna have to do what you gotta do bro like you have to let that go so me and terry they go to the restaurant to meet rocks uh connect for to get them some more drugs they get there the place is so bougie they don't even let them in they try to buy their way in they won't even let them in Somebody uh, offered them some drinks, told them to meet them in the back. Guys with guns kidnapped them. Bam! Just kidnapped them. Then all of a sudden, they at this, I think they like in this open field, and Pat and Rock is there. Pat, like, look, y'all try to go behind my back, try to sell drugs and all that. Misha and Terry is scared. All of a sudden, Pat just goes around and hits the shovel in Rock's face. And Rock is more mad at, I mean, Pat is more mad at Rock because Rock tried to get them hooked up with his plug and Pat found out about it. And Pat just stabbed him to death with the shovel. If that ain't gangster, Meech was like, that. that's messed up. But Terry was like very traumatized by that. But while all that was going on, they figured out that the Twist Street Boys was at their hideout. And they, if the big guy, I forgot his name, I forgot his name. He gets there, finds the whole house messed up, have a shoot out there. He got, he got one of them. But we really, really, we really couldn't see who it was, but he got one of them. He got somebody with a, well, no, Lamar came out with a Uzi. Got big dude. Then all of, he he was he, he was about to get killed. Then all of a sudden, Kato came out of nowhere, start blasting. But come to find out that Kato was just doing that to make it seem like she was still with the Fifty Boys. But don't forget, Kato's still working with Lamar. Remember, you remember. So the next morning, the police found Damon's uh. Damon's body, you know, they found him in the creek. Now, if you throw a body in the river, you know the body is gonna show up. You know the police is gonna show up. I don't know why Meech and B uh B Nick threw that body in the river because it was bound to show up, bruh. Now I don't know what they're gonna do now. So they at Terry Son's uh baptism. And uh, Snoop Dogg is there. Like, I don't know what they really doing with this Snoop Dogg character. I don't know if Snoop Dogg is just in the in the show just to be in the show. He's cool with 50 Cent. But he's really playing this preacher role. Like, Kato went to the house, starts smoking. Lamar is in the shadows. Lamar threatened her, like, if you ever shoot at me again, it's over. It's over. Scares the shit out of Kato. Scares the shit out of her. Kato's get Kato gets so scared that she goes to B Nick house and instantly get on him and have sex with him. I'm like, 
I don't know if I would do that. Like, I don't know if I'd be so scared that I'd be ready to have an orgasm. I don't know about that, Kato. I don't know. But you, you still a traitor, though. Then I'm gonna tell you something why I really like this character, Lamar. Lamar does all this gangster stuff throughout the show. At the end of the episode, he had he had his he had Cash Doll House singing bedtime stories to the girl. And like he buys Cash Doll a diamond necklace. Like this dude is really trying to have a family and trying to be like this this guy is relentless if this this guy ain't relentless to you i don't know what to tell you then terry actually finds rock plug which is big l they meet big l in the club they was in earlier in the episode but he didn't know that was big l big l like look i'll work with you but I, we can't i can't work with your brother terry said deal so I don't even know where that's going to go. Like, Meech is going to feel like a certain type of way after that. But Big L, you know, she said, look, I work with you, Terry. I can't work with Meech. I think that Terry is going to try to convince Big L to get Meech to uh, work. But I don't know. But the most important question is, what do you think about episode four, Heroes of BMF? Do you like it? Do you love it? What you think gonna happen next episode? Do you think they gonna find out that Kato is a traitor? I hope so. No, okay. Okay. Put that in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit subscribe to Black TV. And until next time, I holla next time on Black TV.